Ford picked up yesterday. Fans running in the background because it's like 100 degrees out here right now. So that's going to be on. So I'm sorry for that one. But we're going to open this thing up and see how completely screwed it is. I'm going to be swapping this over. I've got a Super B over there. Uh, so I'm going to pull this whole carb off and then just swap that one onto it. Uh, just because I know that one runs. Uh, and I'll keep this E for future adventures and everything down the line. So, yeah, none of that looks too crazy. Well, that seems fine. Get these two bolts off, and then we can actually see in the manifold and see how it looks. I'm thinking it should be fine. Looks like everything else I've seen seems like it's gonna be fine. Alright, yeah. Some corrosion y stuff in there, nothing real crazy. This looks like an old runner. Yeah. No massive amounts of corrosion or dust and carbon buildup. Definitely, but that's fine. So, alright. This carb is. Coming off, we'll rebuild it. Figure out what all is up with it. I think this arm is stuck, honestly. That's what it seems like to me. All right, and then now at least I know Got a good carb on it. Okay, next thing's next. Got to figure out which one of these wires is hot, and which one's not supposed to be hot. One of these has got to be lights. And it looks like that's some sort of a starter switch. I've got a power. That's got to go to the starter, I would think. You going to the starter? Yeah. Okay, so starter mainline power, ground, and what's I got? That's the crankcase vent. A dead ended wire, perfect. I can see a mainline. They're coming into the loom though. It should have like a hot going to the coil. Oh, this is the hot going to the coil. That goes back into the loom. Turns into a green wire. Cool. Green wire goes around. Okay, coil wire. Right. Coil power right here. This is all I need to run it. So this here. So clamp that on with this one on the battery and then to start it see all the other ones underneath it because I don't need full time power with that uh, and we're going to pull so that's my ignition or yep ignition on and then that's my power to my starter button which should give me power to the coil and everything else if it turns over I got spark then I'll check some of the other stuff some good amount of oil for it to get started. Now good. Checking for spark. And nothing. Alright, so the electric stuff don't work. Oh yeah, we got spark.
right, so we got spark. It's pushing oil out the bottom. So that means I got oil in the motor. That's good. All right. So it should start pumping stuff back once it starts up. So I'm gonna disconnect this for right now. I wanna check the transmission and everything, see how much oil is in that. I think some water got down in one of these cylinders at some point. Okay. You get spark here, then I'm not gonna worry about pulling the points cover and everything off. But we'll see what happens. plugs out and we'll see how much spark we got For some reason I can never find a spark plug socket when I need my spark plug socket and everybody looking at all this is probably like I know exactly why you can't because Look at how trash this place is. Alright. Pop these loose. Uh. I don't know how that's gonna do, but we'll find out. Okay, so here's where we're at. I figured out why the uh, starter wouldn't work. Turns out you need a wire that goes from the solenoid to the actual starter. Don't know why that was removed. So, it works. I, I turned it over, I didn't have the camera on, but the starter does actuate and motor spin, so I'm not sure why that was taken off, but that's fixed now. Uh, and then I've got my temporary uh, redneck fuel system rigged up. We're gonna dump some fuel in it, connect up some wires, and then uh, see if this thing's gonna run. All right, there, she has oil. fresh stuff. All right, all that should be good. Separate those out. Run this back around here so I didn't get on the exhaust pipe. All right. Let's see if she's gonna fire up today. Ooh, she's blasting all sorts of stuff out.
Steel will do it with its own juice now. 